All right, Mario, whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Go ahead. Or this one, sorry. I thought you were going to stop. I, I, I lied. You can just start. You're an, oh, mamma mia. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Mario Bosco Show, where dreams are made and reality, well, it's just reality. My co-host, Irma, okay, so talented. Look at she's all leopard out today. I love it. As always. We match a little bit, right? A little. A little, right? A How little. is she leoparded out? She got leopard shoes on, bro. There's nothing <laughs> else leopard shoes, on. Leopard and earrings. earrings. And the earrings are... All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> and we do have a special guest today, rapper, entertainer, Brooklyn boy, Nems, in the house. That's right. Fuck That's your right. life. That's it. I love Nems. Mario, nice what's your play. favorite Nems song? I don't have one. Why not? Because I wasn't prepped for this. Because Sabino blindfolded me on yeah. this one. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but you still haven't heard a Nems yeah. song? I don't know a Nems song. Make You're from something Brooklyn, up. No? What do you think one of my songs would be named? No, I'll kill you right. I'll, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get bl- canceled. This would be the cancel one. <laughs> Episode 2, Mario gets canned. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nems- that was a nervous laugh. Nem- Nems is... Nems likes black coffee. Oh, oh, oh I didn't know that where that <laughs> sentence was gonna end. Uh, you know, uh, how about <laughs> fuck your life? Fuck your like, life. <laughs> fuck your life. Yeah, okay. There you go. I got a song called "Fuck Your Life." So Nems, exactly. you're originally from Coney Island, I hear. Correct. I'm the mayor of Coney Island. The mayor of Coney Island. Well, I know a few other people that are the mayors of Coney Island. Now you know. Whoa. Now yes, you know. I do. Don't ever disrespect no, me. No, listen, Nems. I name know. them, and I'll tell you what. I'm why I'm the real mayor over them. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, the freak show. What's his name? Dick. Dick? You like Dick? No, I don't like Dick. Uh, his name's Dick. Dick that's what I'm saying. Do you I like Dick Zygon? That's Dick his name. Zick, yeah, Dick Zygon, yes. So he's the mayor of the rides. Yes. That area. I'm the mayor of Coney Island as a whole. The neighborhood, the rides, everything under that sea. So wouldn't you, know you be saying? the governor? No, nah, I'm, I'm the fucking mayor. He's the fucking deputy mayor. Dick Zygon is a nice guy, though. I, I I I like him. Nems, what does it mean to be from Brooklyn? What does it mean to be from Brooklyn? That you're unapologetic. You say what's on your mind, you, without 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 thinking of repercussions. You know, you just say. You know. I like this guy. But it, but you know what it is? It's not it's not saying what's on your mind just to be a jerk off. It's saying what's on your mind just. You know, that doesn't mean we're, we're very good hearted people at the end of the day, 100%. but you got to get through the out the exterior. Once you get past that and you notice that we're not trying to offend you, this is just how we are. Then you're like, oh, this is, this is good people. Did you so, hang out at Luna Park or Dino's Wonder Wheel? Because I used to sell bubble guns at Dino's Wonder bubble Wheel. Bubble guns? Bubble guns. You know, guns that make Oh, yeah, bubbles. for the little kids, like the Mexicans. Well, I'm... In in that category, okay, I'll All give right. you that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my. Um, how long ago? That's my f- how f- up to last summer. <laughs> <laughs> up to last, what happened? The Mexicans ran you out. Well, no, I kind of like you know. I said I got on growing up Italian. I did three episodes, and I said I'm gonna take a break from Coney Island, and uh, didn't work out that well. <laughs> so I'm well, back. Listen, I'm back. Did people buy. More guns from you because they're like, look at this cute kid. Let's buy these more guns. The kids just start crying and jumping up and down, and that's like, oh, honey, you know, it's like sh- liquid honey because they just they'll shut them up and they'll buy. Okay, we'll take three of these and one of those. Yeah. And, and I used to charge ten to fifteen dollars per oh, toy. Oh, fucking fifty cent gun. Well, listen, I have to purchase them from the wholesaler. I have to set it up for them. Oh, so you're uh, your own boss. I'm my own boss. I, Entrepreneur. I worked out of my own shopping cart. All right, there we go. Listen, I, I did what I wanted to do. I got chased from Nathan's to Luna. Who chased you? The guy that manages the Nathan's guy. I don't know the <laughs> that guy's name is. Told well, me why would they chase you? Because he's like, you don't have a permit to sell on my property. And I'm like... Fuck you and did he your wanna, property. Did he want to cut, or did he want you to just get the fuck out of there? It, bingo, that's what he wanted. Cut. But I, next I asked you two questions. A cut, a cut. Or get he out wanted of nothing. Okay. He wanted me the hell out of the way. Next summer, I bring. I'm Irma. still confused on what the answer was. This way, as soon as they they wanted me out of their way. What are you yelling at me for? <laughs> Nams, they wanted me not to roll the shopping cart. Oh, so they were just haters. Haters, yeah. Okay. But I beat them. I made my money. 
Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Best candy store, Williams, right? Yeah, right there. Right there. Absolutely. Get anything you want in Milkshake. there. Milkshake. Milkshakes, ice cream. Yeah, my boy, uh, my boy Paz, every time he drinks one of their milkshakes, he got to take a shit. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. I know, me too. There's something with their ice cream. I don't trust them. <laughs> and, they're, and they're brittle. And they're candy popcorn. That's the guy in the closet right there. Paz. Let's say, Paz, what's going on? What do you think he is? Italian or Puerto Rican? You know, I, I definitely would say Italian. Um, but Look at that hair. Look at that hair. But he has some Puerto Rican features to him. He might be part half and a half, like a, like Irma's coffee. <laughs> what are you? Wow. <laughs> so did you have a lot of coqui for Christmas? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, coquito. Yeah, coquito. Yes. That's your coquito. I love coquito. Coquito. How many, how many cups of coquito get you fucked up? One. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, look, look. Listen, I'm being honest with you. Coquito's, uh, coquito is the best shit, but it's like it's like American eggnog, but it's like better. It's made with Bacardi. They make it, they supersize it. You know, so I, how'd you wind up in Coney Island? Well, I I live not far from there. You know, I your whole life, my whole life. Where you from? E, uh, Midwood section, okay. Coney Island. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. So I've always been in Coney Island. One year I was selling um, some toys on the boardwalk and I got chased and I went into Dino Wonderwheel and the guy they didn't know who I was so they threw me out. Then I kept going back and I met the owner. We got into like and I told him I'm. Did they sure. know off rip you wasn't a kid? Yeah, yeah, right off the rip. They asked me how old I was, and I told them I have no lies. I told them at that time, I, I've been doing Coney Island about 15, 20 years. So I was in my 30s when I started selling. You dressed like that? No, no, no. You know, jeans, tee, you know, baseball cap. I try to be, you know, on the nonchalant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God forbid a newspaper clipping comes out, <laughs> photograph on the wall. I don't need that, you know. I've been chased by the cops down there, you know. They, some they have a culture? Cop- yeah, they caught me, and then I say, listen, I know some people. I named some names. I'm like, okay, okay. Oh, don't you're get... a name name. No, you're no, well, name-namer. listen, listen. You got to protect. I got to protect my business. And they were like, oh, what do you... like a snitch right there. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, bro. My business. Listen, oh, listen, question, listen. Man. Names, listen, let me tell you something. I'm not a snitch. I am no rat. He could prove it. He could prove it. She could tell you. You could prove it? I ain't vouching for that one. <laughs> Come on, Sabino, you gotta vouch for that one. You know I would never rat you, you up. Hold on the questioning. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> Bronx tale, okay? The little kid sees a shooting. Joe Pesci shot the guy. He didn't know nothing. I'm like him. I don't see nothing. I didn't know. I, my, my head, I was looking at the wall. Yeah, that's how it's closed. Yeah, you got that. This kid's good. You know, I like his style. <laughs> I tell you, Nem's got Mario two feet in one shoe. He's like talking. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of shoes, what's going on with your shoe? Yeah, what's up with well, that? Well, you know, I'm an entertainer. Uh, just like Nems is an yeah, entertainer, right. so we have to dress the looks. You know, man's got outfit to match his hat, it's classic, his yeah. style. Look, he's got a beautiful pinky ring. That means don't touch me because I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm a, I'm a stage guy. So I have the socks to match the blink. The bow tie matches the socks and the blink. The pocket square's got a little bit of both to match shoes and socks. And I am... Um, and I'm in my king's chair. Don't ever disrespect me looking like a miniature Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Nem, what would you tell Mario, or how would you teach Mario to be a little bit like you? What would you tell him? First of all, don't look at me while you're fucking <laughs> licking your straw with those fucking hungry eyes. All right, Mario? Listen. Listen, we're both Coney Island people. We're both, you know... You're Midwood. Breathe. You're Midwood. <laughs> you're, br- you're Midwood. <laughs> Midwood. Coney Island Avenue, Coney Island. It's the same salad. Okay. Nems, t- tell me. What would you tell Mario? Not to lick the straw, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mario, this is what you have to do, bro. I can't. I can't. It's too vulgar. I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> what? What are you going to say? Mario, what, what? You're getting money, Mario. You look how you're sitting. Only people with money and women sit like that. Men with money. Bro, I, your leg is like three different directions right there. That's the way. What do you want to do? You look, know, you want me getting to money. See? You see? <laughs> Sabino's like me. We're fat guys. We can't we can't <laughs> cross the legs that much. I could even go like this. What the fuck? <laughs> I could go flat. Holy shit. I'm, 
Yeah. Why? How, how, how? Look at Nico. His head popped up. Oh, my God. Hey, yo. Uh -oh. I want to kick the coffee down, but I could go all the way down. How? Because I'm uh, double jointed, you know? I could go. You have a <laughs> I could fucking do that. You <laughs> could do that maybe 20 years ago. Oh, wow. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever jumped in the water in polar bears? No, you're a polar bear? I'm dying I to do it. I do that it. every year. You do it. Wow. Nico documents it. Wow. Yeah, I know he was scared as shit. He's Nico jumping in next year. Next year. Next year, yeah. You gonna do it? Yeah. But you naked, do it. Said. If you do it, I'll yeah. do it. Yeah? Yeah, I'll do a few do. I hear it. I know the cake boss was there and he did it. And I heard that he d it was. So because he did it, you want to fucking go? No, in? no, Nems. But it's like a part of being a Coney Island. Because I'm friends with a lot of the polar bears. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, you so know. why I, haven't you done it yet? I go to, you know, I sell candy to them on the boardwalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why haven't you done it? No, you got to have guts to do something like no, that. No, you don't. You fucking go in a body of water. Body of water? I don't know how to swim. Oh, you got to go. What if I get pneumonia the next day and I spend a uh, Oh, January. you're one of those. Oh, I might do this. I'm scared. I'm fucking what are you, a hypochondriac. <laughs> you don't let him talk to you like that? You're in the, the fucking, fucking speeches. throne, man. You're in the throne and you're letting him This is the, diss mini, you. the mini throne, okay? It don't matter. Listen, I would do it. I would do it. If you do it next year, Nico, Nico does it, I'll do it. I would you, do it. What do you need? A whole party to do yeah, it? Yeah, Irma comes to Yeah, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> We're going to do the saluji with you. Hey, one, two, saluji. No, don't do that. I, I tell you the, I tell you the truth. If I do it, I would probably just do it because I don't like cold at all. And he, they know, like, so I would do just Sabina, probably. how do you know he don't like cold? Yeah, you know, I for the last three pods, I told you put the heat on. The last one, I was freezing in here. Thank God I had All up. right, go ahead. So, like, I would go in slow. Like, when I go into a pool, especially in the summertime, even if it's not heated, I have to work my way in. So I would work my way into it. Okay. But when I come out, that's it. I bet it would be like it would be like a blessing of uh, would be like a Coney Island baptism. Yeah, no, I don't. St I don't see the polar bear. The the guys in the polar bear club, they stay in there for 10, 20, 50 minutes. I, I'd jump right in and get the fuck out of there. That's it. That's where you got to do it. like Coney Island baptism. That's it. Coney Island baptism. I love it. That's the way to do it. I would do it in front of Dino's Wonder Wheel because... That's why I do it every year. Stop trying to be like me, Mario. That's my boy, Dennis. <laughs> Nams, I'm still waiting. What would you tell Mario if you had to do one thing to be like you? Come on. One thing without being... Yo, every time though. you say that, he licks the fucking straw <laughs> and looks at me. <laughs> Stop with the straw. Stop yeah. with the straw. <laughs> Come on, now. Right now gonna be in my, you're like a fucking human. You're like a doll that came to life and fucking <laughs> creeps me out. Well, you got to tell everybody, you. fuck your life to be like me. That's right. Fuck your life. Tell Irma, fuck your life. No, I can't tell her. Sure. Look, you're scared of death. I'm she not scared. scared. I'm just a respectful person. I'm not scared to tell her that, but I wouldn't, it's not something I would tell her later. Irma got you under pressure. I wouldn't tell Nico that. But that fuck your life isn't always a bad thing, right? No, it's a greeting. Oh, yeah. fuck your life. Exactly. Everybody knows. The point of the story is, Nems, you're the mayor. You are the, yeah. I, I want to say, I don't know if the mayor is the word. The governor, the president. I just told you I'm the fucking mayor. But you should be above mayor. Nah, I like mayor. That's it. I don't want too much responsibility. Okay. Are you involved with the mermaid parade? Absolutely not. Because I've asked Dick Zingens many times that I want to be in the parade. I'm one of the floats. You could be fucking the the, the, the head of the parade. The, yeah, I, the I, Grand Marshal. Yeah, why not? I go to the parade. I don't want to go to the parade. I want to be in the parade. I want to be on a float. All right. Oh, you, that, you, you, you know uh, the parade is for, um, you know, it's like the start of Pride Week. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not Pride, but it's... All yeah. right. So why you want to be the Grand Marshal? I didn't say I want to be Grand Marshal. I want to be on a float. Never say so Grand So they tell you, yo, we're going to put you in a float, wrap you around in, uh, you know, like no, a, I don't even have to a be rainbow uh, I'll wear thing. a rainbow bow tie to there represent you go. pride. There you go. We represent. And, I, and I'll get, like, some kind of uh, outfit or something. I'll wear rainbow socks. I'll wear rainbow something. And I'll, I'll represent yeah, yeah. for the friends of mine. Absolutely. In, in comedy and show business. Yeah. That celebrate pride. Absolutely. You did stand-up before? Yes, I'm a stand-up comedian. Nice. Where have you, where have you done Every that? club in New York City except the Comedy Cellar. All right. Why not? Because I keep asking the owner, Gnome, and I said in my video, and I don't want to pressure him. I see him all the time. How many times do you ask him a week? I don't ask him at all. 
I don't okay. know. I've, I've asked him if he got my video. He nodded yes, and that's it. Now it's up there. The ball Tell is me a fucking it. joke. <laughs> well, people ask me why I'm like this. It's because my mother fucked Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I said, thank God she didn't fuck the seven dwarfs. <laughs> Nico, is it me or did Mario, I don't know, become this all of a sudden a fucking tough guy that knows <laughs> it? He like became like fucking yeah. Mr. Macho, I right? like that. I like that. Listen, you know, I feel comfortable right now around Nems because he's Coney Island. Plus, I did know a little bit about him because I met him a couple of times. So... I kind of already had a little bit of a who he is. Hold on. So you don't feel comfortable with us because we're Williamsburg? No, 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 honey, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Listen. Okay. Irma, listen. Yes, honey. He's the guest. So I'm comfortable around this guest because he's Coney Island. I've spoken to him before. It's not pertaining to us, Nico, Sabino, Pasquale, Lopic, you and me, talking about the guests. Like, because we were talking about they wanted to secretly bring guests in, which they are, that I don't know what they do in life, whether it's music, whether it's yeah, sp- sports, or whatever the they spur do. Spur the moment. And I have to spur the moment, bring it to life. And yeah, try. Yeah. But you're easy because I already know who you are. I know you're from Coney Island, you do rap, you're in music, you're the mayor, you're around a lot of people. You know the same people I know. We talked about it at Nico's Closet. But hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Explain what Nico's closet is to the people. I don't want them thinking we were in Nico, Nico's me. closet. No, listen. <laughs> I was in it with her. Oh. All right, but I'm a girl. It's different. Yeah, exactly. I'm a girl. He's Nico, a boy. <laughs> Nico's closet is a, a money raiser. It's Nico it's donates. It's a fundraiser. fundraiser. Nico <laughs> money raiser is a fundraiser. They, Nico donates uh, a lot of his personal items bank. and... And the money that we raise goes to the New York City the food, food bank. bank. And me and Irma, we scored about twelve thousand five hundred this year. Well, not just us. Everybody who was there scored. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, listen. <laughs> Everybody, stop licking that straw. <laughs> yeah. by, by the way, we didn't let him know you were coming on the show because we didn't want him to prepare. We want. No, but when I walked through the door, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was happy, right? Because you know him? Yeah, definitely. Because your whole attitude changed. Yeah, because I knew who he was, and, it, and, and you know, it, like like when I said Coney Island, it had nothing to do with Williamsburg. We it had to know. Do, it had to do with We Williams. know that. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I you saw him come from the, street, the same area. I think that if somebody was trying to hurt me in Coney Island, I think Nems would jump in, and, and I would be okay, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, that's because... You know what I'm saying? Because we represent. Nems told you not to sit like that. Nems told you not to sit like that. Listen, I'm comfortable. Mario, can I be uh, completely honest? Absolutely. When I first met you, I didn't know if you were a man or woman, a a grown-up or a child. I got got an Adam's apple. Uh, I know. Once I met you and talked to you, I know you're a man. Yeah. But, like, you know, at first I I wasn't sure. But every time I talk to you, you're a great guy. Thank you. You too. You're a stand-up guy. I like you. You too, and I, I I would love to know more about you. Of your <laughs> All right, you're going too far now. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that, bro. You see, everybody's taking this out of category. I mean, what I mean is, I'd love to know more about your music and your entertainment and your style. Because I do love your style. Your hat and your your, your, your jacket and is all perfect. To me, it's a perfect look. You well, this is, this is... Slow you roll a little, because now you sound like you want to be in competition with me for him. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Easy. I got claims on him. Easy. Slow your roll over there. Listen, I don't mean I don't mean. I don't know if you want a bro ma- romance, whatever you <laughs> call that. A bro romance. Romance. Take it easy. I don't know. You like sawed your oats when Nems came. <laughs> Nems, let me ask you something. Could you ever see Mario like as a part of your crew? Coney Island boys. Absolutely. No, not the Coney Island boys. The Fuck Your Life crew. The Fuck oh, Your Life? The Fuck yeah, Your Lifers. Fuck your life Absolutely. Really? Listen. Yeah, you know why? Because, uh... Like hanging outside the barbershop together? <laughs> Maybe I could entertain at the barbershop, you know? <laughs> Yo, why not? Fucking no, tap know? dance. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my... <laughs> Hello, my baby. <laughs> What are you doing? You're loading, the, you're loading up? Yeah, I'm loading up because, you know, as soon as uh, somebody says something, we're going to start shooting in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
What's up with you licking this fucking straw, though, bro? Because like, I don't want it to drip on my clothes. Because Sabino asked me about my drip. So I have to make sure I don't drip coffee on my clothes. So I lick it so that it, there's no coffee <laughs> Wait a on it. You asked him about his drip? Yes, he did. I asked him, like, how much his outfit costs. So I told Where do you him even that. get that outfit from? Do you have to shop at kids' places? It says, um, this says uh, Steve Madden's shoes. Steve Ooh. Madden, okay. Socks are Hugo Boss. <laughs> Pants are Macy's Ralph Lauren. Jackets Ralph Lauren. Okay. Hey. Pocket Square is Express. Bow tie is the garage in my neighborhood. And the shirt, I don't know which uh, warehouse I found this in, but I robbed it. But <laughs> And that's that. How about we ask them some questions? Yeah, let's like, go. Ask him. Forget about the bro. What do you want? Do you want me to ask him? What do you want me Nems, to ask him? What's your perfect type of woman? Who would be hey. your perfect oh. woman? Oh. Oh. She's got By the way, before Let's we go. get into it, <laughs> come on. The last episode, she said it was boring. So we invited you so she get a little excited. Yeah. Because uh, it was boring, trust me. My perfect woman drinks coffee and smokes cigarettes. Yes. Yo. All right. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> so let me ask you a I'm question. Done. Let me ask you a question. Can I set you both up on a uh, a date night where you guys? Can't I, 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 hold on. How do you know we can't didn't go on a date? Oh. I didn't say yeah. if you went on a date. Maybe don't a redate. Yeah, a redate. Maybe a redate. You guys go. You have coffee together. You smoke cigarettes together. You chill together. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. You know the whole buffer deal thing at the end of the night. But that's between you both. Would you consider? Would you consider? <laughs> taking my co-host out on another date or a date per se. Irma can't handle me. Sure, she could I'll handle rock it. her world. Let me tell you right now. Listen, listen. She, she needs All people right. to be rocking her let, world. Let me tell you something. You're like a mountain. I'd climb you like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. So uh, change your attention to him, not to me. Listen, I think that you, we're all human. We're all God's children. I think you are a gentleman. I think she's a lady. I think two would be perfect because you did say you like a woman that smokes cigarettes and drinks coffee. He said that because I smoke and I drink. <laughs> just oh. so you know. <laughs> he, that's why Nothing he said gets it. by you, Mario. <laughs> Mario, Mario, listen. He's going to fucking put you and smoke you in a minute. Mario. I'm old, I'm old enough to be his mother. No. Pick another conversation. That's for another day. Irma, I think... Who, Irma, who's cuter? Me or low pick? Yo, yo. There we go. Always yo. There we you know, go. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you honestly, listen, if I Always saw low pick, if I saw low pick, and you're walking together, I'd say you were brothers, because you both have the same... Yeah, they got that look. Mary, who's cuter, Nems or low pick? <laughs> Don't answer. I'll pay for this one, but I'll say Nems because... <laughs> I got them boy. all around the board, <laughs> kid. He's a handsome guy. I'm a handsome guy. He's a handsome guy. He already said he don't swing that way, you know what I'm I saying? I don't swing that way, but, you know, he represents. If he showed up at a wedding... You'd man, look at him? No, I wouldn't look at him. I'm not into that, but I would, if I saw him at a wedding, i said, Mingy, this kid's got style. Look at Big Joe. Big Joe doesn't show up in jeans Listen, at a wedding. What I, shows- tra- what I tell you about going after him, you're making me mad. <laughs> you're making me mad over here. You know what I say, Irma? Let it rain. <laughs> let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Yes. Big Joe's another... Heavy dresser. Handsome, right? <laughs> Heavy dress. But nobody's Nems. Nobody's Nems. And you see, I just want to, Nems, point it out. He licked and said, nobody's Nems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let me ask you a question, Nems. If you were to take Irma out to a restaurant, would you yeah. come to this side or would you invite her to your side? No, only the fanciest for Irma. We'll go straight to fucking well, Long there's... Island. <laughs> 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 nothing but the best. <laughs> nothing but the best. I mean, on your side, you take it a fucking montal. You could take a, a montal. <laughs> I'm taking it. No. There's Gajulos on your side, and on this side, where did you say Gajulos? Oh, like Gajulos. Yeah, Gajulos is on Gajulios, Gajulo, whatever you call it. It's on your side, and on this side, you got Bamantis. So which would you do? Uh, Julio's, of course, with Coney Island. That's it. Mario, maybe we'll take the podcast on the date. 
Yeah. Ooh, I How like about it. that? Well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Sit under the table while you both exchange your champagne glasses? Well, I don't know, because I feel like you want to be on the other side. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Listen, you said you have nems on, on nems. You have you have your hands on him like you want him. So, I mean, are you are you involved with anybody right now? Is there any situation? There's only room for Irma in my life. Oh, I love that, man. That's a good I answer. That's a good Irma. answer. What, make room for armor on that side of the couch. Let my, my co-host enjoy a nice visitation. What you call her before? My co-host. Now your sidekick? My sidekick. Listen. But she's nobody's sidekick, so I can't say that. She you want to start trouble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mario, are you interested in hearing any of uh, Nems' music? Yeah. Do you have anything that you can play, Nems? <laughs> <laughs> anything that won't get me kicked off the air? Off the air? What air are you on? We're on the uh, GUI here. Oh, so it's, 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 I thought it was uncensored over here. No, it's uncensored. No, it's uncensored. Oh, it's uncensored? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Hit it up. Got a song uh, called Hit Her in the Shitter. Hit Her in the Shitter. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Irma, that's how he's going to get you to engage you. <laughs> I hit her in the shitter. I hit her in the shitter. Boom, 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 boom. In the shitter. <laughs> the G mix. The G mix. I don't know. Mario came to. I don't understand. Listen, the guy represents Coney Island. I represent Coney Island as a member of Coney Island, being a part of it. You know, are you a part of the members of the group of the Coney Island? What do they call that? The associations <laughs> of Coney Island? No. So you're not part yeah, like the I'm, businesses. I'm above them. You're above them. Okay, I like that. But I am a business, uh, the business associate. Yeah, I got a business in Coney Island, the Fuck Your Life Store. The Fuck Your Life Store. I like that. Yeah. Where is it? It's on 16th and Mermaid Avenue, 1612 Mermaid Avenue. Wow. That's where I get this, that. That's for my own store. I make my own clothes. Wow. We're going to go there. I'm going to definitely go in there. Yeah, the next episode, you got to be wearing all FYL. Uh, let me ask you a question. Um, You're on Mermaid Avenue because I'm always hanging out on Surf and West 12th. Yeah, That's yeah. where the freak show is down the block. By the precinct. What? <laughs> the it's on West 8th. The what? The yeah, 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 yeah. The precinct. West 12th is the block of the Wonder Wheel. Yeah, the Wonder Wheel. West. You ever 12. been to Foxy's? No. You know about Foxy's? The no. Strip club. I didn't even know there was one down yeah, there. Yeah, there's one on West 12th and Surf. I'll it, take you there one day. You know Fat Call? Yeah. He has the poker machines. Absolutely. That's my boy. <laughs> I keep my goods in his back. Do you want to go to Foxy's one of these days or no? Yeah. All right, let's do it, you know. Um, you what kind of girls there? you like, Mario? Any kind. Any kind that walk and talk. <laughs> and all you need is a hole in a heartbeat, that's huh? That's it, that's all. It's all <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Mario, what's your perfect girl? Yeah. I would say blonde. I would say pretty skinny. I don't want any. Uh, I have a friend of mine. She's got a behind that she could push the door open with her ass. You don't like that, or you do She's like got, that? I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. Um, I, I don't think people need to supersize themselves, and I don't want to offend them, but I don't think people... Yeah, <laughs> well, that, yeah. yeah. Well, what are you Wait, trying to say? Wait, did you get a BBL that we don't know? Yeah, yeah. What, don't, are, what are you trying to say? What's a BBL? A big... big uh, I, I don't Brazilian know. Brazilian butt lift. Plus, yeah, well, that's what this girl got in the cafe. She got a butt lift. That I think they must have handed a two by four in the middle of the <laughs> ass because when she walks, her ass goes up and down. And I'm like, honey, how do you sleep with that? <laughs> do you cut a hole through the mattress to fit your ass in there? Because <laughs> that shit is fucked up, you know. <laughs> like, did you, you want to say the, a name on here? Did the, 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 the surgeon fuck up your ass? Because <laughs> did he? Did he overdo the, the, the situation? I mean, you may have asked him to give you a lift, but I think he gave you the lift and the crane. My boy over here, Paz, he went uh, he went to DR. He got his brajol done. Oh, yeah, nice. Good for you. Yeah. How much? Would you go do that? I don't know if I would do that. I don't know. I'm happy who I am. You know, I don't know if I really... All right. Um, you know what I'm saying? Why? We're still waiting for the perfect girl. That's Amina Wax. So the perfect girl has to be skinny, blonde, pretty. Smoke? smoke? Yeah. I smoke. No, I don't smoke. Oh, no, I don't care if she smokes. No. I'm not, I don't like that smell, but if she smokes, maybe pot, I would, would, uh, wouldn't mind. But if she smokes cigarettes, because that's a habit that I'd have to help her with. Because if I go out with her and then I get in touch with her, you know, then we, you know, we go fur further with the relationship. Now I gotta support. I need twenty dollars from my Marlboro lights. Go fuck yourself. Oh. <laughs> what about if she did cocaine? Fuck them. 
I don't support nobody. I'm a gambler. I don't support anybody else's habits. Well, she didn't need you to support. She just did it on her own dime. Listen, if she did it on her own dime, that's fine with her. I don't give a shit. So would you be with her? Yeah. There you go. I don't bother me. You don't think I can't put up with if they start doing it when, like, when you know, when you got to get busy and they're like, oh, I'm all fucked up. And oh. I, I I have a friend of mine. <laughs> that sounds like a little robot, right? <laughs> I'm all fucked up tonight. <laughs> I got to tell you, I have a friend of mine, and every time you talk to this guy, you go, yeah, you want to play cards? He goes, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, he comes <coughs> back, and he's, he's tutto bapagnato. And I go, I go, what happened to you? He goes, yeah, you know, I did a little salt. Salt. <laughs> it's not snowing. How, why are you doing salt? Come play cards. He goes, no, you know, I did salt. I know what he did. But I'm like, do see a new great in a sham. He goes, nah, I can't play, bro. I can't play. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Go back to who oh, stick it in. You ever took a little yourself? Never. 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 I've only smoked weed. Never did anything other than that. Never. So do you have a lower tolerance because you're smaller? No, I just, I never got into that. I used no, to I'm saying even with alcohol. And yeah, stuff. definitely. Alcohol is very low tolerance. One like, shot and you're done. Done. I, you know, I got <laughs> like, like sloppy Joe. Like, oh. No, 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 no. I, 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 I'll start feeling like that weird feeling. Like you got to take a shit? Like, no, like nerves, like nerves start coming up like butterflies. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. What I like is, you probably will call me a lot of names for. What do you I got, one leg? What happened? No, I got two legs. Oh, shit. You know what I like? I like peanut butter whiskey with grape soda. That is a perfect peanut butter jelly. That you do as a shot, it's really good. You get that creaminess of the peanut butter. You get that delicious flavor of the whiskey, and then the, you know, the grape soda gives it that sweetness for the jelly. All right. Why don't you just have a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Because I want to get a little buzzed. Let's talk to Nems. <laughs> Let's ask, <laughs> ask Nems some more questions for me. For you. Oh. I'm joking. Ah. I'm joking. Ah. So Nems, what's your salary per month or per week? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good amount. Good amount. Irma. Good amount. Good amount. Yeah. You know what that means? She could buy you McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Fridays. Twice a week. Twice a week. We twice splurge a week over to, here. Oh, twice a week. Yeah. What's your favorite steak? Let's see what kind of man you are. I'm not a steak guy. I like Kobe burgers. Kobe burgers are cool, but steak. You don't like a good nah, steak? I'm not, I'm not a steak guy. You don't like a nice piece of filet mignon or a mm. T-bone steak? Filet nice mignon, with the bone in. Yeah, for let me now, 90 yeah, seconds yeah. to kiss. So how do you like your steak? <laughs> he just told you he's not a steak guy. Ask him how he likes his burger. Burger yeah. steak. Medium well. Medium well. My man, man. That's there you it. go. There you there go. go. <laughs> Medium well. Medium well. Except somebody's. Because some places, some they fuck up burgers so bad. I went to a place. I said to the girl, can I get the burger medium well? She said, well, we only make them well done. I said, well, can you tell the buckle <laughs> behind the counter that school, that didn't go to school, that just went before he sees it's turning well, pull life. it down. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mario, what's the first big purchase you're going to make when you make a million dollars from this show? <clears throat> Honestly, yeah. I, I have everything in life that I need, like bow ties, you jackets. Got a woman? I have a woman here and there, you know, uh, you know. When's the last time you got laid? All right, listen, that's a personal question. So what, you asked me personal questions? Would the word never As be okay? Never? Mm-hmm. No, you never had sex? Never? No. Nope. You're saving yourself. That's it. Ain't nothing wrong I'm with that. I'm a Catholic no. person. Ish Wednesday, I'll go to church and get my issues. Well, you gotta change that. You gotta come hang out with me, bro. I'll be Take you to Foxy's. You gotta we'll break that, that, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, well, what do you so how do you know for? you don't swing that way if you never went the other way? Because I don't swing the other way. <laughs> I only swing one way, honey. All right, all right. Don't call me honey and fucking lick the fucking <laughs> What's wrong with you, honey? <laughs> what, what are you saving yourself for? Um, You're going to die soon. What are you saving damn, yourself damn. for? Damn, Irma. Damn, Irma. Let's hope I have 49 more birthdays. Yeah, but... I'm going to say, if you don't use it, you lose it. Exactly. It's lost well, already. It's lost already. I'm 51 years old. What do you want me to do? I'm going to go dig it out somewhere? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shit is inverted now. He, he got it in he. 
<laughs> you gotta hang out with them. Yeah. <laughs> so Nico just asked that question. What would I do with the million dollars? You wanna know what I do? No. <laughs> they blow in his belly button and the dick comes out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta push on the belly button. All right, and it pops out. And it pops out through the front. That's all. All right, and then uh, if I had a million dollars, I would travel. Why don't you buy some hoes? I buy no hoes. I buy one. I get hoes for free. I go to Coney Island. Apparently phone. not. I go on the ho- boardwalk. The first hooker that comes out, the, the first Bhutan I see. I'm going to Jersey Shore. All those, hi, I learn to be just like Snooky. Give me a little <laughs> Bhutana. I'll show you, you little Snooky. I'll show you. You want to meet Snooky? Meet Snook Corner. <laughs> so, back to Nico's question. What the fuck? What was Nico's question? I don't even remember. If I, if I <coughs> oh, got dollars. famous and I had a million dollars, um, probably I would donate a piece to um, Caesar's Palace, Las Vegas. Um, <laughs> that's a good probably probably a good quarter of it. What's your biggest payday you ever won? In the casino? Yeah. Uh, I was in Vegas last year for my fiftieth. I won twelve thousand. Whoa! Nice. Twelve thousand. It's a good hit. I won on this uh, fire link machine. Oh, you I play just, slots? Yeah, I just I play tables too. I play three cup poker. That's my game. Do they actually for ID in the casinos? All the time. Yeah. I used to, I when I went to Vegas the first time, they were pounding me for the ID. I was at MGM. All I kept doing is play the slots, and I had my ID up here. The guy goes, ID right there, ID right there. What the hell out of buckle of gym? When, <laughs> go, when I was walking out, the manager guy, whatever he was, there, he goes, hey, he goes, did you have fun? I go, yeah, I had a blast. By the way, I'll never come back here again. He goes, why? Why? Because you pounded me for my ID. Well, we should have put a band around your arm, and this way we wouldn't have disturbed you. But we didn't think about it. I go, good, because I'm never coming back in. Never put a foot back in there. When I go, I go to Caesars. I go to Lynx Casino, Harris, Planet Hollywood. I make a little donation everywhere, like the church. I go <laughs> I go around. I go, I make a little Ave for Father. I go to, I go to Venetian. The Venetian is, is not a good place for me, but I'll tell you why. It's too far for me to get to the table. I want to go through the door and tell the person, where's the three-card poker? Right there. Boom. Sit down. Two, three, four, five hundred. Go to my chips and let's start playing. I don't need to go up and take a sightsee of the Venetian. Look down, the guys with the gondola. Get the hell out of here, gondola. <laughs> so um, a quarter of the money would go there. Yeah, I would probably help out um, some people that are in need. You know, like homeless or people that are, you know, probably do something for a children's hospital. Probably. Definitely children because they Mount Sinai and saved my life. So it'll probably be like a Mount Sinai. And How'd they save your life? They saved my life because when I was born, doctor messed up, gave my mom cold medicine if the hot water broke and went down my fallin- my tube here and it burned my pituitary gland. So that's what I would do. I would help out. Burned your pituitary? And what did that do? That stunned from me going through puberty, living, you know, getting older. Really? Yep. So you never went through puberty? Nope. Really? Yep. That's 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 interesting. Fine by me, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. You live, you die. So you just stay with like a, a, a child's like body type thing. Like small. That's it. But you grow mentally and all of that. You're Absol- a man. Absolutely. But you just stay okay. And then that's, that's from them giving your mother cough syrup? Not cough syrup, medicine called oh. like aspirin. Oh, okay. Cough syrup. <laughs> she never, like, you didn't uh, sue them or nothing? My parents didn't believe in suing them. They said to my father, would you rather give your son up for adoption or family? And my father wanted to kill the doctor for saying that. And then um, they took me home and took care of me. And, and my, they could have sued them. They, My mother used to say we should have sued the doctor that did this. But my parents said, you know, as long as we have our son, we're, we, we're content. So that matters. I wish they would have sued. I would have had the money. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I would have made, I would have said, fuck the podcast. I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> I'm going to toss some beat. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be in Vegas. Eric, even though Nems is a rapper, he's also getting to the comedy scene. Maybe you could give him Absolutely. Some advice, Absolutely. You're, you're very experienced. Right? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You, gotta, you, you have the hustle already. So all you need is to get up there and do your shit. You know, it's not like. 
you are starting over and you don't know which way to begin. You know, you already, you have your foot grounded. So getting on a stage into a show is a perfect gift. And I could help you get into some clubs, get to do some stage time. You don't have to go fast and furious. You could just go up there, do five tight minutes, very tight. Go up there and make them laugh and... I have a show Valentine's Day in Brooklyn. On You're going to be on tour. I'm on tour until the middle of March. And today's the only day I'm in New York till March, the middle of March. He doesn't have time for you. Well, listen. Now, when I get back, Mario, me and you. Yeah, definitely. I'm trying to... Um, I had spoken to Dick Ziggins about putting a show together at the Freak Show. And um, and he said, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And summer passed. Summer came, summer went. and He's not the mayor no more. They kicked him out. There's another guy now. Oh, yeah? They do open mics every yeah. Thursday, I believe, once a week. Oh, I didn't even know that. I went there to... Except a Coney Island guy, are you? I, I, I don't care. I'm not there during the winter. I don't I'm know. I'm not, so then you're not real Coney Island. I'm there all year round. Bro, I'm not there 24-7. Neither I, am I. I'm fucking in Williamsburg right now. But I'm saying, it's like, I'm, I'm, I am I'm go there during the summer. I go from you're April. You're saying you're more important April. than me? You got more things to do than me? Yeah, I got a lot of things to do. Okay. I got, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> but you see, you all have to be there. You're the mayor. You're a superior of Coney Island, so you have to be there to make sure everything is right, you know? Good answer. Good answer. Thank you. There Thank you go. You. Thank you. That's why I got you on my uh, co-host. I know, sidekick. Sidekick, <laughs> sidekick. Sidekick, Mario, okay. is there like a joke that you could give uh, Nems for his, his stand-up routine? I, I'm, ghost right I'm not good at ghostwriting at the moment, but I would write you something that would be funny, and I think you... you just coming out well no I'm, I'm asking is there like a, one of your jokes that he could just have that might apply to my him? jokes are mostly fitted about who i am well is there one that might work for him as well mm, maybe about uh i always go there's a lot of women in the room you know about the i dated this blonde girl the other night i not only wrote one i ordered two happy meals why why because i'm cheap <laughs> <laughs> What type of fucking joke is that? <laughs> she was pissed. <laughs> I, I, I had to give her my toy, that bitch. <laughs> That's the last time I dated a paid escort. <laughs> <laughs> now my family for my birthday, you know what they got me the other day? What? A blow-up doll. But she was too big for me. <laughs> so I used her as a floaty in the pool. <laughs> in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Except my neighbor, he dialed 911 because he thought she was drowning me. <laughs> Cut that one out. <laughs> I paid for that price once. I ain't paying it again. <laughs> true story. Hey, listen. I told you, Nico, I am the way I am. So, Nems, do you do money, 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 money? Yeah. So, for every line you sing right now, I'll shoot some money. Well, I look like a fucking stripper. <laughs> Oh, you think you think you could oh, outroll Nems if I got a pair of dice? No, nah, you can't outroll. Yeah, what? Pair of dice. Can you outroll him? I think I could outroll him. You, you got dice? Yeah, let's do it. Sure, I do. I'm a dice player too. Shit, you give me two two on a hard shoe, my friend. I'm a gambler, one hundred thousand percent. I played at the thing. I have twelve passes, okay, and I was shuffling. The guy made the guy the hard eight. Hard four, hard two, <coughs> 11. Give me double on the two. Give me double on the 12. Go up and down. Go up the hard four. Coming out, soft four. When that soft four comes out and I have the hard four, me and I want to throw a shoe at the guy. Pull his guts here out the pole. God, this guts out of the truck. Okay, put my hard four back on. And the guy goes, you want him working or not I'm working? What do you think I'm standing here for fucking Halloween? <laughs> Yo, how did you meet Nico? Oh, we don't need to get into that. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I met Nico, as you would say, kind of in an accidental, positive way. Uh, I met Nico with Sabino at this um, store in Little Italy. Now, I didn't know Nico because he doesn't post this picture. And lately now, he's posting pictures of himself. Yeah, he's Hollywood now. Now he's Hollywood. You know, he's a big shot. He's got one point something million followers. You get who's going to touch Nico. When I met Nico, <laughs> Nico had 500, what I say, 580 something thousand you had? I don't know. 
Yeah. <laughs> it was May. It was what was it? May two years May. May will be. It was two years ago in May. He had he had five hundred. Now he's got one point three million. One point four. I think he's got. When I met Nico, I didn't remember. I didn't recognize Nico, but I remember Sabino. I still remember his face because I've had watched the pods a lot. And I was like, and the guy goes, "Come back later. I got company. Company. Come back later. I got company." I turn around and I go, Sabino. I, the guy goes, "Yeah." I go, so I realized it was him. So I said, "This is my only time to get on GUI. It's the only time to attack this guy. How am I gonna get this guy to like me?" <laughs> He says to me, you want to get to him to me, DM me through Instagram. DM you through Instagram. I go, I got to wait for you to eat 25 pieces of fucking pizza and then wake, go to sleep, wake up, and you're going to answer my DMs? I'm not like that. If I DM you, Nims, I expect within 30 minutes for a click back to say, okay, great, I'm there, no show tonight, What, whatever the story is. I don't want to wait for you to get back to me. Are you the same way when people they, you know what I mean? I'm the sa- I'm like that, you know. I know Nico's taking. So you notes. met Nico at a store. I met Nico on a met store. Him what the store. fuck was that, bro? <laughs> Just gave me a fucking two hours. I was, story. I was literally <laughs> texting Lopic, cut out the whole story about how he met me. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? Because you explained it already in the previous episode. Yeah. But he wasn't here in the previous episode. But you yeah, weren't even talking that, about him. You were fucking talking about him. <laughs> How'd you meet Sabino? Same situation. They all were right, together. That's all we need. How'd you it. meet Irma? Okay, kiss Irma. I met Irma. The first time I met Irma, we just had Oh, the- Paloma. The whole night. <laughs> all right. Nems, do yourself a favor. Before you leave here, block him. Because he's going to be DMing you day and night. No, I don't. I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Do you follow Mario? No. Can yes, you do that right now? Don't to have a disrespect <laughs> me and try to press me. Listen, like you were supposed to follow me. <laughs> what was the? Whoa, 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 whoa. I just heard four chuckles and I, I, I. You were supposed to follow me at Nico's closet event and. and oh, uh, <laughs> the closet yeah, event. Look, there you go. I told you. <laughs> look, now it fell on the fucking floor. All right, so Mario, I want to do a little exercise right now. Let's go. Exercise. Now that you heard a, a great rap hip hop song. I feel like you've been inspired, right? Yeah. So I'm going to play an instrumental for you. Ooh, and I'd like to hear like you this. freestyle. Talking about how you like freestyle. Different right. type of freestyle. But, you know, just give it your best. All right, ready? I'm going to play. Oh. Here I am, sitting in the lion's chair. Oh. All right. Here I am, Mario, on the top of the world. Fuck you all with your balls and your sister too. I'm in the rock chair right now with the Golden Lions. I'm rocking the city with a mic in my hands. Comedy lights shining so bright. Shoes to match, my socks are lights. Oh. I'll take your gold shades and put them right on. They'll fit me like a white glove knight. I am who I am. <laughs> I am who I am. Bow tie and all. You could call me Pee Wee Hermit. Whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Because the world is mine. Living on the top line. You ain't boxing me or shelving me. No, sorry. I'm rocking the streets. Show business, movies, and TV. I got this mic. It's all mine. I'm so happy. Fuck you all. Wow. wow. Where'd that come from? Yo, he got, he got high on coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Where did, Where did that, that come from? Body? <laughs> now, Nems, would you ever give uh, Mario a guest feature on one of your tracks? No. <laughs> Why? I, I think I could do good with you. I think me and you battling. You know? So we end every episode the same way. How's that? I don't know. How do we end every episode? You know well, how to tap dance? I kind of do. Let's see it. Oh, you only can tap dance sitting down. No, oh, I could tap dance standing up. I know this. So do it. On the table. <laughs> on the table. Go ahead. You really want me to do it? Yeah. No, I can't. Shoes on top of table is bare luck. All right, so do it right here. I only took a few places. I had a little pick.
That soft shoe. That was a soft shoe. Yeah, that's a soft shoe. To oh. match the soft six. <laughs> uh-huh, I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I got you winded. Yeah, you got me winded. So how do we how do we wrap up every show, Mario? You know, first we I think me. You don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Well, so I think off, I think we should I, end with Mario's kind of like thought of the day. You know. First thing first, I want to thank Nems for stopping by, making appearance. Thank you. What I'm very happy is that not only he's Coney Island. What I'm happy is that a man of his league and talent to come in on my second episode. I mean, I don't it's think... It's an honor and a privilege. Thank you. Uh, you owe him a big favor now. Yes. Where's your store again? You want to tell him where your store is? 1612 Mermaid Avenue, Coney Island. Beautiful. And where can they find you? Like your social media? M's underscore F-Y-L. On Instagram and TikTok and all that? All of that. Same all shit. Same shit. Good. Uh, Anything coming out like tour dates? You said you're going on tour. On tour, all, all, all year. Can I can I open for you one day? Absolutely. That means a lot to me. I know he's fucking saying no, fuck it, wait, lose my no. Nah, no. Gotcha. But I I think that I love your talent. Your, your song was great. You did mention a few pieces of bubbles. I saw bubbles. It's a great couple of um. I said snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus, Sesame Street. You yeah. said you opened up with bubbles. There was bubbles. Then you said Snuffleupagus. There's no bubbles. <laughs> no bubbles? My hearing things? I heard bubbles in the beginning. Mumbles, <laughs> bubbles, some shit. Okay. So, you know, Nems, what an honor is really to have you and uh, my co host here to have you because it's a real time. What are you laughing Why'd at? Why'd you point at her like, like that? Like, what are you nervous? laughing at? I'm trying to do it serious. You know, you're doing um, great. Keep can, going. Where could they find your music? Let's start with that. Have they even listened to music? <laughs> iTunes, Spotify, All of that. Pandora. What do you think I'm a fucking amateur? No, I didn't say that. I don't know where they could find your music. I don't know if you have a website that they could. They're all over the place. Look up your mother's ass. They can find my music. Okay. And what's your number one song that's rocking right now? It's called "Fuck Your Life." Fuck your life, guys. Nems, give it up for Nems, guys. <laughs> Second guest, best guest ever. I think um, I would close this day by saying how blessed I am, this show. How blessed I am because to have people like Sabino from Growing Up Italian and New York Nico and his talent. and What like, is his talent? Well, he's a filmmaker. He's an inte- he's a future Steven Spielberg. He's the next Martin Scorsese. He's the next, you know, top notch. Okay, he just invited me to be in his super feature that he's making, you know? Super feature? Well, he might do it on Super 8. I think that believe in yourself is the number one. I am probably the first cause to say believe. (laughs) Slow pick is driving me crazy. Uh, You did the same thing to me when we did the Christmas episode when I talked about stuffing the turkey. Uh, how would you end each show? That's what he's asking you. I would end it with a positive moment and a a a moment of <laughs> Marone, <the> kick crawl trick. <laughs> I would I would say, listen, all jokes aside, I would say that believe in yourself is the most important. I am an example of life. I should have been dead a long time ago, and God has kept me breathing and still here. I don't know why, but I am. Um. I believe that every day is a gift from God. Every day, man, is a box you open up. Today is a, a really big thing for me. Never thought this would happen when we were talking about this with Nico and Sabino months ago. And most important to me, what means a lot to me, is having Sabino believe in me. Not one episode GUI, not two, but three. Hopefully there'll be more. Nico um, putting me in a lot of his creations, um, a lot of his... Filmmaking. Want to wrap this up anytime soon? <laughs> um, you know you could do, you're gonna be doing more episodes, right? You, you don't know? gotta cram it all into one. Yeah, you gotta like. Well, I'm just trying to say this is the second episode, and I'm trying to say to tell people out there that if they don't believe in themselves, they need to wake up and start believing. And that's what you gotta say. Then you don't say <laughs> talk for 20 minutes. If you. It, believe in yourself. Wake up and fucking believe in yourself. Wake up That's and fucking it. believe yourself. I'm Mario Bosco, my co-host, my sidekick, Irma. Let's rock this. What do you want to end it with? 
No, that's how you end it. That's how you end it. That's how you end it. Fuck your life. Fuck your life. Fuck your life.